Yo, what's up guys, Toy here, and I am here to show you my unorthodox skill build, which I am currently using right now. There was a, a bit of changes in the skill build, um, which I will point you out in a second. So, like, for the average things, lift kick 1, this one max, this one max, this one level 5, and now we come up to chain strike, which is probably one of the weirdest skills in the game, but I actually found a way to combo these. I will show it in uh, one of the next videos that I will make, but there is actually a use for this skill. Um, for instance, you can uh, cancel this skill with anything, so if you use deceptive cutter, into chain strike into uh, the first two hits or the second uh, two hits you can still decoy so you can bait out the left and right mouse button counter that's one of the uh, possibilities also you can if you get level 5 ground stomp which I will get to in a second you can combo um, this easily all four hits and it does a fair amount of damage because it is really really fast and with Envenom applied, it does a hell amount of damage. So it is, it is really good. So um, for the next, like, okay, Violent Shadow, just the same stuff as ever. Just get it maximized. Hide, I would not prefer. You will have points left to do it if you just ma don't maximize one of the other skills, which are pretty useless. Um, but fuck it, it's a bitch skill. Shadow decoy, always one point. Rising attack, very easily five levels because it doesn't scale. It doesn't scale a lot, and it doesn't scale enough. Even though if you use it for uh, all of the hits, it is not useful to waste all of those SP points every three levels. So no, just keep it level five. That's the way to go. Apply poison level 14 because it's a hella, hella damage skill. It would be stupid not to maximize. Now we got Shadow Star, and this one is debatable. Like, I have a few skills which are debatable, which you can just check or uncheck basically. So I choose to get it level 10 because the uh, initial damage is pretty, pretty high. Let's see if I can actually just get myself a damage feed. No. But take note, this skill will scale very highly, and if you hit it, it will hit as a f uh, first hit, meaning that it will be maximum damage. Hence why I think it's a very, very good skill. Uh, ankle Cutter, obviously, um, uh, the poison applied to it is pretty good, and the slowdown is pretty good as well, so... In my opinion, this one is useful and worth maximizing. Also in PvE, it is pretty good if you get the skill book, which I just got. Yay. Uh, haste. Gotta say, this is one of the most awesome skills. If you want to be a shadow, you, you just gotta be fast. But there's more ring to it. The more speed you have, the more uh, distance your uh, left mouse button, no, your right mouse button click will travel, and the faster it will uh, be there. Um... So yeah, I, c I really like this skill in terms of speed. It really helps you out. Now we got Vital Spiral, and this one is the most damaging skill in the game of Shadow. So you gotta maximize this. There's ways to combo, which I found out lately. So make sure to check my new videos as well, because they will be up there. Now we get to Deceptive Cutter, and this one is uh debatable and you can change uh shadow star into shadow decoy maximizing i choose to take it level four why level four because that was uh the only way to spend the rest of my points instead of putting them into hide or something but um i choose to do this because basically if you um if you raise this skill you will most of the times only hit the first or the last hit initially when you just connect to somebody which means that the maximum output of damage is half of what the ratio says meaning that all these points that you put into are not really uh, getting maximum yeah like maximum damage so I choose to take this level 4 because it doesn't seem worth it that much to me because it only skills like 10% on two hits meaning that it is 20% but like I said you only hit the first or the second hit most of the time so it's only 10% gain with some extra damage so that's the reason why I choose this barb shadow okay this uh, I've had a few questions about this one before 
but uh, take note 70% crit is the maximum crit cap on PvP so anything above that is quite useless and 70% crit is very easy to get even for noobs you just gotta be patient and get yourself those in that 70 crit cap instead of wasting 8 points or even more into this skill build so that's why I don't take this skill now this is one of the biggest game changers that I made into this build this is probably the reason why I'm able to do chain strike which is poison storm now I have a very 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 big hate toward this skill because it is very easy to counter because you have a big amount of recovery frame it only has uh, semi super armor and you basically just turn yourself into a dummy standing still all the time so if you miss this or somebody uses dash counter or anything else you will probably end up dead so that's the reason why I took this level one only as like one of the later combos and it is still pretty good with Envenom because Envenom does all the damage for it and I gotta say the scaling and the poison itself are not really worth it so that's why I kept it level one this one will probably receive the most hate because people really like this skill but I really don't so you just gotta keep that in mind that if you do this skill you're really fragile so that's the reason why I didn't take it now shadow talon I'm choose I choose to maximize this you can switch both poison storm and shadow talon if you want to but this skill does a fair amount of damage in both PvE and PvP um, you can still combo this one uh, like the old days but you gotta find yourself a way to actually perform it perfectly because uh, with the new attack get up this one will be either attack get up or anything else so make sure you either faint or whatnot so this is why I chose this skill to maximize and it is just for the damage pure damage um, ground storm um, uh, the normal F stomp level 5 to unlock the kneeling crash this one seems obvious the E grab I gotta say this is hands down one of the one of the easiest skill to land in this game and it will save your life countless of times so this will be always a uh, initial hit or even like a second follow-up hit or whatnot this will not change any ranges or whatnot but the damage itself is really really worth it so maximize this one I was never really a fan of crouch until I played assassin for a little bit it will save your life millions and millions of times like shadow only has like milliseconds of frames uh, of invisible frames and crouch makes it uh, have like a bigger amount of frame like even one second if you combine uh, invisible frames next to each other so maximizing this will lower the cooldown that means that it is definitely worth to max out so ego kick level one double jump level one some people yeah it is really really not preferred to me but I keep this at level one uh, because you won't use auto attack that much in combos or at least I won't uh, the scaling itself is not that great and in PvE it's not worth it because you can use all of the skills in chains and it is definitely not worth to maximize this scythe break hands down really big damaging skill and it is most of the time initial hit or second or first hit so the scaling itself will really be used as much as you can so maximize that one flying shatter kick always useful the first and second hit to rising attack or even the third and fourth hit and now we come to kneeling crash you gotta uh, in my opinion you gotta get this to level 5 to uh, do the new spiral combos which are so useful because normally I wasn't able to combo spirals with the new attack get up but in this case I will be able to which I will show you in next videos as well so um get this to level 5 and you will be able to do chain strike combos and vital spiral combos uh, 4 could work as well but I think 5 is just more more solid air steel fucking amazing skill I like it it's a teleport you gotta get it swallow touch level 1 the second addition to vital thrust 
take this one. There was a guy who didn't take it and he said he was not able to combo without it. So if you th ever think about not getting it, please don't. Just don't. Izuna drop. This one is plausible to not take at all. But I really like this skill just because it looks awesome. It makes you feel assassin and this makes you able to mix up against bad people. So that is pretty fun. So take it level 1. Shadow Dash, obviously take this maximum. Dual Turn Slash, level 1. So, um, here's where people might not want to listen to me at some point, but uh, for the passive you can just check him. Um, most people will uh, want to have uh, maximum MP because uh, Shadow really drains MP when it comes to skills. Then again, if you get yourself full Serrat armor, perfect armor, you will receive as much int as you need. As well, if you can get a decent title, you will receive a lot of int as well, which will end you up with at least 12k MP, which is, in my opinion, more than enough. So, um, also a skill, if you really want to go pure PvP, you don't have to do the Violent Shadow add-on. And you have like 15 more skill points to waste into deceptive cutter so as you can see there's many many ways to go around this I really enjoy the skill build so far I really gotta mix up the text a little bit more but that's it for the skill build Fe feel free to comment on it on the YouTube video and we'll be able to discuss the build in there so thank you guys for watching I'm Twebby peace out